Problem 4. Over a certain region of space, the electric potential is voltage equals 2x minus 6x squared y plus 7yz squared. Find the expression for the x, y, and z components of the electric field over this region. Use any variable state above. Okay. So, remembering back about, I don't know, 12 seconds, maybe 14, we know that voltage equals negative integral e dot dr. All right? So, if we want to go the other direction and solve for e, we're going to take a divergence of... Uh, voltage where as I'm sure you remember right this is dot product divergence will then just be the derivative with respect to x of the x component of y derivative ooh that's not what I meant y comma comma yeah yeah I'll say it this way partial with respect to z of the z component. That's terribly written, but you get the idea. And you'll see as I go through. Alright, so the x component. So if we take the derivative of everything with respect to x, partial respect to x, there we go. Now, partial of all of the voltage with respect to x will be 2. 2 minus 12x. There we go. And then there's no x in this portion, so that'll be it. But we need to have the negatives. So it'll be negative 2 plus, plus 12x. Ah, I forgot the y. Treat the y as constant. Yep, okay. So this guy will be I'm going to call it negative 2 plus 12xy. Okay? Let's see what it is. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for y. So, we can do it right over here. Derivative of 2x with respect to y will be 0, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Negative 6x squared um, y with respect to y will be uh, negative 6x squared. But I'm going to take the negative of that. So I'm going to call this e y. Actually, I'll just write it down over here. Save me a step. So this will be 6x squared. And then the derivative of 7yz squared. Negative will be 7z squared, because we treat everything that's not a y as a constant. Now with z, we have 2x, which becomes 0, negative 6x squared y, which becomes 0 because there's no z's involved. And then we have 14yz, and then we have the negative we have to put in as well. Yeah. So we just take the divergence. Um, I would not think too deeply about this one. I just memorize the formula, or memorize the formula for voltage. You know that if you take an integral to get the voltage, then you're going to have to take the derivative of the voltage to get the electric field. What is the magnitude of the field at point P? We're 1, 0, negative 6. Okay. So, we're going to have three components here. So for the EX component, we're going to have negative 2 plus 12 times 1 times 0. 1 is the X, 0 is the Y. So this part right here becomes 0, and that leaves us with negative 2. Okay? We all find the magnitude in the Y direction, EY. Then we're going to have 6 times x squared, which is 1, minus 7 times z squared, which is 6 squared. Hmm. That's actually pretty big. Okay. And then we're going to do the z.
So z will be negative 14 yz. Y is going to be 0, so this portion right here will be 0. So what we're going to have is negative 2 squared plus I gotta do this slightly differently. I'm just gonna find this part. Six minus seven six squared. Six minus seven times six squared. And that gives us ah, should have had times. There we go. Six minus seven times six squared, negative two hundred and forty six. Negative two hundred and forty six. So now we're going to square all these. Square 0, square negative 2 squared, negative 2, and the square negative 246. Then square it all to find the um, uh, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, yep. So the magnitude of E at 1, 0, negative 6 will equal 246, I'm going to say 0 0.001, because the hypotenuse is going to be really close to the biggest number in this case since it is so much bigger. So I'm just going to say the magnitude at this point is going to be 246. And magnitude is going to be positive since magnitudes are always positive. Okay? So the key to this one was just memorize the formula. Know that when you change an integral, uh, when you want to undo an integral, you do derivative. In this case, you're going to use divergence. If you don't know quite what divergence is, uh, type in divergence into Wikipedia. Divergence. Look down here. It basically gives you the uh, uh, formula right there. All right? Perfect. See you on the next problem.